So, charger's going in. You know what that means. That means power's going in. And if you saw the intro, which I'm sure you did, you heard motors turning. So, uh, you know, we got here finally, after all this time. Um, you know, the, the kind of final thing is I've been showing you for a while, building it, putting it together, how it all works. And everything's together, and everything's working, most importantly. So, you'll get to see kind of how we finished it out, and, uh, you know, wheels turning. All right, so this thing is a little low on the um, independent rear suspension, so the um, engine hoist, which is going in from the back because it's a mid-engine, uh, is hitting that independent rear suspension arm. So we got to jack it up a little bit. Uh, bye. So, this goes Hopefully down in there. Out. The phone again. It's uh, still doing its job, just... You gotta get it. I wanna pull it, let it, you pull it up in there. I can keep, keep, like push it hard. So does this sit? Yep. Like so this, is. see this um, square mm -hmm. tubing? It goes on the inside. On my side or go on that side and your side on this side so those go on the inside of that bracket that goes around there i'm going to grab this one up here there's a spoiler i mean a and vent yeah. you can just push Okay. Move it over here. How are you looking? We're not in level. I know, but we've got to slip in. We got to go down. Yeah, stick tight. There's a. There's one little wire right here. I hope you want to. Yeah. Think it'll make it's it should because yeah. I it's just got to slip down in there because you're still on the I just don't want it to pinch yeah this. no it should go ahead and come down a little more Austin go up <laughs> Maybe we can notch that a little bit. Or... You, like here's a weld, and you can maybe get in between the weld. Kind of like right there. We'll get that big drill bit you just had. <laughs> that one was. <laughs> That'd be nice and itchy from fiberglass. Isn't it just tasty? I don't eat it. <laughs> Okay. Can you push yours in the corner? Okay, that's got it's all these yep. it's sitting in there. Yeah. easy as that so right now we're charging um it's got a driveway um safety to where if i hit that throttle right now you know we're not gonna get wheels spinning because theoretically this will be sitting in your driveway in your garage and here's charging that if somebody gets in there and turns the key and hits the gas pedal with that plug-in over there it's not going to just yank that power cord out of the out of the wall so you know we're good there uh, you know we got the tires up off the ground um just testing everything 
So batteries are charging. You know, that's the first step is um, getting the BMS set up. So we got the BMS set up. Um, thanks to the guys out at Legacy EV. Um, you know, they're kind of our, you know, big partners right now on these EVs. They, um, they build you a kit um, based off what you want, what specs you want, you know, range, power, this and that. And, um, you know, they didn't forget about me as long as it took to do this because this is our personal car. Customer cars kept getting put in front of it. So we're just glad that we're finally done two years later now. But um, we went through with them, their tech department. They run you through. We did the BMS, set it up, got the charging set up, make sure everything works, make sure, you know, the, the runaway, the driveway protections on there. Um, and then we went in and, you know, set the controllers up because it's a du dual motor. So you think a dual motor like a, um, like a Tesla, you know, front and rear motor, that's not what this is. This is two motors. And you, if you watch earlier videos, they're stacked. So they're connected by a, a timing belt. So essentially it's doubling the power and torque um, going into the stock transaxle. And uh, we got that, you know, all programmed and tested and we're on some baseline programming right now. So we'll get out, we'll drive it down the road. We'll kind of see, you know, it's it's ramped up to like 9,000 RPM. We didn't put a limiter on it yet. Um, so as long as I'm conscious of that, you know, I wouldn't deliver it like that. Um, especially this Jeep Wrangler we're getting ready to, um, off, you know, convert to EV for a customer. Um, I'm not going to keep that at 9,000 RPM for him. So this thing, I think red at like 61, 65, um, somewhere in that range. We'll adjust that, kind of get a feel for how everything works and then make some finite adjustments. And then it'll be ready essentially for delivery. Um, if it was going to a customer, but we're keeping this for a while. This is going to be our GKR show car to kind of show off what we have done with this. Um, it's a pretty wild build and it's going to be, it's going to be a hoss. It's going to be fun to drive. So. I think um, you know we might do a little little sign off with uh, some wheel spinning. So, one second. Chargers off. Key on. Contactors. And got the throttle mounts mounted back here because the old throttle cable came up through here and we weren't going to try to run wires through everything so feet are out of the way or if you heard the regen there um, we do have regen turned on so pretty cool we are uh, we're very excited to have this and get it out there right now. It's zero degrees outside and snowy, so we're definitely not taking these like 20 year old tires out on that um, with the power this has. So next video on this will be the finite tuning, it done back together fully and pretty much another reveal video. So we'll catch you then. Thanks for watching. Like, share and subscribe. Like, share and subscribe. Boom, nailed it. <laughs>